Today I have a story. Uh, back in 2010, I lived in downtown Santa Ana. And at the time, they were trying to gentrify it. There was a bunch of clubs and bars and restaurants that had opened up. And I moved there in 2009. Uh, in 2010, this food truck started showing up late night after people were coming out of the bars and the clubs. And I got on a friendly basis with them. And one day they tweeted out that they needed help. And, you know, I was young. I was single. I had a job, but didn't pay me enough. But uh, I was always looking for more ways to make money. So I showed up and they had me on the truck and they had me start taking orders. And then from that point on, I ended up working on that food truck uh, for a little over a year, almost a year and a half. And it was seriously one of the, the best uh, side jobs I've ever had and it was absolutely one of the best experiences I've ever had was working on a food truck. I learned so much about the food and the hospitality industry. I made a lot of friends. I met different people from different food trucks. Uh, so many fun and interesting experiences. During my time on the truck we were actually filmed for a show called Eat Street. It aired on the Cooking Channel back in November 2011. Now, the Cooking Channel wasn't available everywhere. And from what I remember, the Cooking Channel was basically the Canadian version of the Food Network. And so unless you had a specific uh, cable provider and you had a specific cable package, there was only a, a very slim chance of you having access to that channel. And uh, by the time the show aired, uh, I wasn't able to catch it because I had moved to the Bay Area. And where we were living, uh, our, our cable company did not carry the cooking channel. Uh, the one and only time I was able to, to watch it was when uh, my in-laws, uh, my wife's parents, they were watching TV and it came on and they recognized me. So they quickly FaceTimed us and they did that thing where they were pointing the, the phone to the TV and we were FaceTiming them and we were basically watching it through our phone and they were had the other camera on the TV. And this up until this year, this was the only time I was able to watch it. Uh, in the years since, I've tried... Uh, searching different streaming services, going on YouTube. You know, this is before streaming services existed. I mean, I think Netflix had started, but that was pretty much it. Um, in the years since, ever you know, once I had some free time and I thought about it, I would just you know casually search the internet and see if I was somehow able to find it. And for years, I was unsuccessful. One of the great things about the the Apple TV app on your phone on iOS is that if you can you can search for any show and it will show you the different uh, streaming platforms or where you can purchase to buy whatever episode or show or movie that you're looking for and I, I don't know why I didn't try this sooner but I searched for that uh, show Eat Street the other day and it showed that it was available to watch on Plex so luckily I still had access to Plex. I searched for Eat Street in the app and Eat Street was available. I uh, found the episode that I was on and I was able to watch it with my family and they all got a kick out of me uh, being on TV. So that's my story. Uh, I will edit the episode after this just so I have proof that yes, I worked on a food truck. Yes, I was on a TV show. And it is there for anybody who wants to watch it. And without further ado, here is the episode of Eat Street. In Orange County, California, a hugely popular truck called Los Chinos is taking Mexican and Asian flavors way beyond the cliche. Two tacos for buddy. <laughs> the Korean barbecue tacos are made with prime cut ribeye beef and the exotic specials like Saigon shrimp ceviche are almost too good to be true. Mmm. Delicious. I love a thing eating a taco. Two tacos? Oh, you know it. Dos chinos. Dos chinos. I love these guys. They're my favorite food truck. Nice and soft. I'll eat this any day. Marinated really well. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but not too overpowering. It's great. Mm. 
good. <laughs> Those chinos is a uh, Latin Asian grub. We grew up in Santa Ana, so uh, you know, surrounded by a lot of Mexican and Orange County, there's a lot of Asian restaurants and eateries. So I figured, why not combine the two? You know, we got one truck, but we're getting a lot of attention, and you know, everyone seems to love it. Mm. What's up? Hey, can I get a Hollywood chicken torta? They've done a fantastic job of taking the flavors of both Mexican food and Asian food and really blending it together well to make dishes that are just amazing. I've followed this food truck a couple times. They have a better variety than most other food trucks. It's original. Hey, how you doing there? Hey, I'll get the breakfast burrito. Right now, we're gonna make the uh, breakfast burrito. It's got the chorizo fried rice in it. It's got the asada and our chimichurri sauce. Some butter on there, chorizo, day old rice, mix it in there. It's kind of a Chinese restaurant secret. The consistency is a lot better. Chinese sausage, pineapple, sriracha. Now we're gonna make the asada. It's like a ribeye steak, cooked Vietnamese, Mexican style. Start with our chimichurri, which is minced garlic, green onions, a little oil. And then we got our steak. Looks like it's ready. Couple eggs here, throw in our burrito. All right, here we go. Jack cheddar cheese, tree stir fried rice, ribeye asada, two eggs, onions, cilantro, salsa verde, and then we'll just roll it up. Those chinos breakfast burrito. It gets pretty big, maybe the size of a little baby. Like the best burrito I've ever had. It's really tangy and flavorful. It is absolutely delicious. I did not realize this thing was gonna be this big. It's gonna be all over my face now. <laughs> I grew up in a family of chefs and restaurant owners, so uh, I've always had in the back of my mind that I want a restaurant. I saw this as a, a viable option. Yeah, it's till 8.50. I've known Hop since the second grade. He called me about maybe six months back, saying, you know, I got this truck thing, and then I tasted the food. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me get the ceviche. We're making the uh, Saigon shrimp ceviche. The acids and the lemon juice cooks it overnight, so uh, all we have to do now is drain it off. And we also have freshly squeezed tangerine juice. Gives it a nice flavor. And sweet pepper medley with Persian cucumbers and pineapple. With some shrimp. Almost everything has onions and cilantro. Top it off with some more pepper medley. And our chips are done. That's it. Here's the uh, Saigon shrimp ceviche. I love it. <laughs> like the right combination of the flavors. You hear the crunch? Oh, sorry, whoever's car that is. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood taco! We're gonna do the Hollywood chicken taco. We call it Hollywood because there's a lot of Thai people in Hollywood and it's a Thai coconut curry chicken. We'll start off with the uh, clarified garlic butter. Chicken and our curry. And then once that's nice and mixed in, we wanna put in our coconut milk. Curry and the coconut milk and the chicken has a nice flavor. It's basically ready. Here's our Hollywood chicken tacos with sour cream and tamarind. <laughs> Drums. Did it over there. Uh, top, Hollywood tacos? Yeah. yeah, let me get you another one. There you go, man. Thank you. Don't drop it. I won't. The turnout was good, and uh, I was really surprised by uh, the amount of people that showed up. The following they've brought on here in Orange County is pretty impressive. It almost gets hard to eat at them, the lines tend to get pretty big. I understand that people are here for lunch, and they don't have a lot of time to eat, so we want to get the food out there as fast as we can. Those chinos!